Yeah, mm-hmm. so you think that's going to be fair to college football? Because I, I watched a, a video the other day when they had uh, Colorado playing against Oregon in the championship game. Okay, two, three years from now, when Oregon can spend more money than anybody else in the country, how would the Colorados and how would the the Arkansas compete? Well, I, I don't look at it like there's ever been a level of fairness anyway, right? I think this I think this has been going on, you know, kind of unheard of, under the table, you know, what have you, for a long time. And college football, we don't like a lot of parity, right? Let's just be honest about it. We like the greats to be great, and we like the underdog to slide through the crack every now and then. So I mm-hmm. think Colorado is going to be Colorado. I think UFC going, UCF is going to be UCF and so on and so forth. And I think, you know, regardless of, you know, the financial implications, everything is still going to be status quo, right? You can't put the 11 people on the field at a time. So regardless of who you pay and who you don't pay, chance favors the ones who put the work in. I really do believe that. And all these great players are not going to one place regardless of how much they feel like they can pay. It just is not going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That, and that is true. Yeah. Because you got playing time. And then you got Absolutely. some kids who just don't want to go way out of Oregon. I don't care. Right. How many right. uniforms y'all got? I don't want to play in Oregon. Right, right, right. Especially when you can let – if you're from South Florida and you're talking about, oh, well, I'm a, you know, a four-star, Oregon can give me, I don't know, uh, – Six hundred thousand, wherein you know Miami can give me four hundred. I mean, it's not a conversation, right? It depends on what you what you deem important. You know what I mean? You may need to get out of that environment. Like who knows? Hey, when I'm when I'm here and they about to do out there in Oregon, he probably gonna get everybody a meal. Everybody a meal. You get a meal. You get a meal. You get a meal. Nah, you get a meal. Nah, nah. Let's make a deal. You get a meal. Sign right here. (laughs) Right. That's not even you in in fall. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. I bet you will. You'll see uh bait rips all over Nike. Yes, sir. You uh, you saw what happened when Texas A and M when it's first when it first happened, Texas A and M, they jumped out the box and got the number one, the best overall class ever. Yeah. Yeah. So they might get do this for a, a good three years straight. But what and, has Texas uh, and them ooh. got out of that class though? That's the thing. That's what I was going. That's what I was alluding to. Regardless of what you pay for, you know what I'm saying. You still got to yeah. produce. Yeah. Now, but we talked about this. Jimbo Fish was going through a lot, man. That, that man had a mood out there. He, you know, his ex-wife was dealing with a player on the team. L- uh, listen, man. Listen, 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 listen. We talking about players. You know what I'm saying. You moving the goalposts. We talking about players. I don't even got nothing to do with somebody get drunk, they have a baby mama, break their leg. <laughs> we just talking about players. You know what I mean? Like, hey. if you want to apologize for everybody, we can't really have no conversation about nothing. Yeah, but well, look, this is what I'm saying, man. Okay. All right, now, to your point, that's right. true. If When you start paying guys and guys coming for the money, they really not buying into your program. They just come to get that check. That's a fact. Yeah, so that could be, it could create uh, a problem in the locker room because people just dare to really floss and shine. They're not really there to put in the hard work and be great. But at the same time, I've seen some of the guys that Coach Lennon recruits. He recruits dogs. From what I'm saying, he he recruits like the Cowboys. He recruits big, athletic guys that just like monsters. 